Hello, everyone, and welcome to CE Institute. My name is Selena Belial, and I am the founder and one of the instructors where we teach manual lymphatic drainage. Now, we usually teach CE hours to massage therapists, body workers, and cosmetologists, but we also have many physical therapists, occupational therapists, nurses, acupuncturists, and so forth in our classes, even when it's not for CE credit, um, because we do offer quality of affordable education. So if you want to learn more, we hope to see you in one of our CE classes. Okay, today what I'm going to show you is how to clear the terminus. What is the terminus? The lymphatic terminus is up here right underneath your collarbone, and I've put a red arrow around this, around the cartoon drawing of the lymphatic system here on the right hand side of your screen, you can see there are larger green lymphatic vessels that are dumping into blue cardiovascular veins. This is the dump site where all lymph enters the cardiovascular system and that is what's called the lymphatic terminus. Now to clear the terminus, which is usually how manual lymphatic drainage routines whether you're providing a local hybrid or full body manual lymphatic drainage session, you usually open the session by clearing the terminus. And to clear the terminus, you're going to put your thumb and pointer together and the last three fingers, middle, ring, and pinky together. What I want you to do is create a V with your hands. Once you get that V, I want the pointer above the clavicle and the middle finger below the clavicle because what we're going to do is we're going to have the client inhale and exhale and as they inhale and exhale we are going to press with very light pressure down towards the client's um, feet inferiorly and back towards the client's back towards the floor at the same time and this lymphatic pumping is to clear the terminus. Maybe there might be some congestion in the area. Uh, maybe some of the fluid isn't moving. It's stagnant. Clearing the terminus is trying to open up the juncture between the lymphatic system and the cardiovascular system to accept more fluid as we drain the tissues and propel the fluid back towards the cardiovascular system. Now, there's very many different pathways in the body. It's not like massage where you push everything towards the heart. In some cases, you're actually trying to propel fluid inferiorly to regional nodes, but that's taught in a longer manual lymphatic drainage training. So let me show you what this looks like for real-time practice. You're going to separate your hands and make that V. The pointer in the middle should be separated. The pointer is above the clavicle, middle's below the clavicle. You'll take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, the client exhales, you're going to push down inferiorly and posterior at, posteriorly at the same time. Usually maybe about two pounds of pressure, not much more. We know that deep breathing can help stimulate lymphatic propulsion within the lymphatic vessels. So the deep breathing is helpful and you're physically manually pumping that juncture of lymphatic um, uh, vessels and uh, cardiovascular vessels with that technique. So that's what clearing the terminus looks like. If you would like additional manual lymphatic drainage training, we do hope to see you at the school. It's ceinstitute.com. That's CE as in continuing education, ceinstitute.com. And until we do see you in a training, be safe.